everybody, this is Eddie here at Vuring RV Center in sunny Grand Rapids, Michigan. What I have for you today is a quick walkthrough on this 2023 brand new, just got on the lot. This is gonna be a Dutchman Astoria. This is their 1500 series. This floor plan specifically is the 2993 RLF. It's gonna be a rear living floor plan that's gonna weigh in just over 9,000 pounds and a right at 34 feet overall. So this is a 2023, we haven't seen them yet. This is our first time that we're gonna get it on the lot, first time that we have our hands on it. Uh, so what I'm gonna go through is some exterior features, some cool things that make Dutchman Astorias, Dutchman Astorias, uh, and then we'll also go through a few changes which mainly are focused on the inside. So on the outside, first thing I wanna touch on, this is not a change from the 2022s, is the fiberglass front nose cap that is gonna have an automotive grade front window up there, just to, for a little bit more protection, a little bit more open airy feel when you are inside. Uh, in your master bedroom, but it is tinted, which is really nice just for privacy. As you head over here, you got your first front two levelers. Something that I like to point out is this does have auto leveling. So when you do get to the campsite, there's a nice, uh, it's a nice ease that you just have to press a button and you're all set to go. So up here, this would be where you would put a generator if you wanted to. It's just a nice generator storage for when you are at the campsite or maybe you're dry camping. Uh, you wanna make sure you can run your air conditioner, all your appliances. Um, but up there is also gonna be your spare tire storage. This is gonna have two 30 pound LP tanks. One is gonna be on the right side, one is gonna be on the left side. Just to show you, here's a quick, quick look at it. And then of course, you are gonna be prepped for solar on the roof, and then you're also prepped for solar on the side with this easy go power plug. As you move into the nice big pass-through storage, uh, there's a little bit spot for an inverter if you wanted to with the solar prep, um, but this is gonna give you a nice pass-through storage. You might say, what are those boxes? I'll show you in the back. This does have a hookup for a griddle on the outside, although there is not space for an actual full kitchen, but they wanted to maximize, give the consumer a little bit more um, with that extra griddle that's gonna come on the back. Nice change from uh, the 2022 models is they've completely redone the grab handles. That's right here, so your entryway. Ultimately, this is a keyless entry. So you're not gonna have to have your uh, key actually on you when you get to the campsite. You can type in a code and it will unlock your camper for you. This is personalized for each person. So it's just a nice extra security. It's a nice way um, for if you forget a key, if you have an issue, you're able to get into your camper even without that. We ordered this one with three slide toppers. So this is a three slide coach. Uh, and with that, you do have all three slide toppers on each of them. There's gonna be one that's in your wardrobe, and then there's gonna be two, one that's on your kitchen, and then one that's on your uh, living side, which will protrude out onto your campsite. But two huge power awnings, just to give you maximum space. They are not out all the way, but they will be when you are camping. As we head towards the back, here's that little, uh, that little connection for your outdoor griddle. So that's just right there. You will have a propane quick connect just so you can do some, uh, do some cooking when you are at the campsite. And then of course you have a uh, backup camera already on the Astoria. And then you do have your ladder to the fully walkable roof. We're gonna pop around really quickly right around to this side just so I can show you a couple more cool things. But this is the unimportant side, but to that, here's the discharge for your furnace, your gray tank, and then something new that they have added is you're gonna have uh, Furion air conditioners on the top, but you are also gonna have a Furion hot water heater. Nice thing about this is 2022's had a six gallon water tank. This is gonna have a tankless on-demand water heater that is gonna run off of propane. So that's just an awesome change, makes it a little bit more of a luxurious feel to your coach. But as you head under here, this is just gonna be your wet base, so your city water connection, um, your fresh water connection, and then you also have uh, your black and gray tank discharges. But yeah, that's it for the outside of uh, the 2023 Dutchman Astoria 2993 RLF. Let's pop inside and check it out. All right, so here we are inside the brand new 2023 Dutchman Astoria. 2993 RLF. So as you can see, this is an opposing slide rear living floor plan. So 
with the big differences from the 2022, you are find uh, you are going to find that they mostly are cosmetic. Uh, so a lot of the things you're going to see is that this countertop is going to be a little bit darker than it was in the previous uh, in the previous model. You're also going to find that this island is going to be a darker color. They're kind of going for a little bit more of a contrast while still giving you that open airy feel. So as we head over here to your freestanding, this is gonna be your freestanding dinette with uh, chairs. It's not gonna have any legs underneath just for some extra space. They got rid of the carpet that's gonna be in the slide. So it's um, gonna give it more of a continuous, um, a continuous like roll that goes over top of that, uh, over top of that slide. As you get to the, the storage ottoman right here, this is gonna double as seating, but you can also bring it over and put it in front of your rear sofa, just to give you a little bit more leg room because you don't have theater seats right there. Your theater seats are located right here across from your TV. So these are gonna be manually adjusted um, theater seating. They are made by Thomas Payne. You'll see a difference in the upholstery color. It's gonna be the same material, but it is gonna be a little bit lighter, a little bit more airy and residential as we go to the changing times and the changing um, styling preferences of people and also manufacturers. Lots and lots of windows back here. So it's awesome just to get a bunch of light um, coming in and just making your camper feel a lot more open. Ultimately, a few other changes um, is you are going to see a difference in some of the like ambient lighting that is going to be within um, the details of your slide. So you'll see that it used to be white. Now it is going to be that darker uh, tinted glass. Back here at your big rear window, you are going to have this. Uh, this is going to be a trifold sofa. So ultimately, you're going to be able to just fold it out like this if you do need, do need some extra sleeping space. Head over to your entertainment center. You're gonna have a massive fireplace that is gonna be for ambient lighting. It is gonna be um, like a movable fire. So it can be adjusted for color. It can be adjusted for heat. It will kick out a little bit of heat if you do have it uh, plugged in on that option. It's gonna run off of your 12 volt battery, which is awesome. Huge smart TV right here, just to give you a little bit of space and a little bit more entertainment on a rainy day. Nice big pantry space because Typically in something like a fifth wheel like this Dutchman Astoria, you're gonna find yourself camping maybe a little bit more than a couple days at a time. You wanna make sure you're gonna be able to fit a crock pot when you're not using it. You're gonna be able to fit a coffee maker when you're not using it. You wanna maximize your counter space. So let's shut that. Head over to your island. A bunch of storage. You are gonna have your farmhouse style sink uh, that is gonna be stainless steel with your high rise faucet. Something that I love that Astoria does is they do give you um, those gold accents. It just makes it feel a lot more luxurious. It makes you feel like you're kind of the king of the world when you're in this thing. Um, here's some more counter space with your three burner cooktop. You are gonna have your little graystone oven and then a graystone microwave right above it. 10 cubic foot, 12 volt refrigerator. So it'll give you lots of storage space. This is an upgrade um, from the previous gas electric fridge, just with the accessibility of lithium ion batteries, with the accessibility of putting a bunch of solar on your camper. They're kind of moving away from those gas electric fridges just to make it a little bit more convenient for you. So you never have to worry about running out of propane. Tons and tons of counter space. Like I said, when you're storing your crock pot in your pantry, um, when you're not using it, that's perfectly fine. But when you are, you want to have a place to put it. Dutchman Astoria does these GFCI outlets, which do go in and out of the counter just to maximize space, make it a little bit more convenient for you. But this counter space gives you a ton of room just for any extra stuff that you want to bring, like a crock pot, like a coffee maker. Tons of storage up above and down below. And then let's head up, we'll head into the bathroom and then the master bedroom. And let me show you one of the coolest things that I like about this half ton fifth wheel. As you get up here, you do get a nice big bathroom. This is gonna have a glass shower door. So it is a big shower for a 1500 class fifth wheel, but it is gonna give you lots of space in this bathroom, a little bit of storage room. You are gonna have a medicine cabinet over top of your sink, which is nice because a lot of manufacturers still don't do that. Heading over to your new and improved controller panel by LCI. So here's gonna be your max air vent fan. That is gonna be right above your island in your kitchen. You can control it right here and it does have a rain sensor. This is your gas water heater control, which is awesome because you can adjust the temperature the way you want it. And it is gonna be that tankless water heater. So you're not gonna run out of that, um, you're not gonna run out of that hot water. 
but you have controls for your interior, exterior lights, your water pump. You can hook this to your Bluetooth if you want to, to control it from your phone. One and two awning control, and then all three slides will run off of this. Here is the control for your first main 15K BTU uh, Furion air conditioner, which will be in your main living space. And then as you pop into your master bedroom, you are gonna find the control to the second, which is gonna be a 13.5K BTU um, air conditioner, which will be right up above and ducted. So as you get up here, you can kind of see how that front automotive grade window can open up the space. And you are gonna have a residential queen bed up here. So the reason that in these 1500, uh, 1500 series fifth wheels, they don't do an east to west bed is they try and take away from that massive slide weight just so you can tow it with a smaller vehicle. So what they do is they replace it with a north and south bed and then you get a smaller wardrobe slide, which will give you storage right there. And then you'll have hanging storage right there and then some storage below. This bed will have storage underneath as well, which is on gas assist. So you saw how easy that was for me to raise it, but it will just give you a lot of extra room. Now, the last thing I wanted to touch on, just what makes this pretty sweet, um, is that a lot of manufacturers aren't gonna have washer and dryer prep in a 1500 series uh, fifth wheel. This gives you a huge storage space and also enough room for a stackable washer and dryer. Typically, if there is even washer and dryer prep, it's gonna be for a washer dryer combo. What this does is it gives you the possibility to actually stack it and make it more convenient for you. And if you're not using a washer and dryer, if you're like, hey, I'm gonna go do coin laundry. Hey, I got a friend down the road that I can do laundry at their place. I don't need that. Use it for hanging storage. You'll have plenty of room. None of your stuff's gonna get bunched up at the bottom sitting on top of something. All right, guys, as always, thanks for tuning in to Vuring's RV's YouTube channel. My name is Eddie. You can reach me at 616-965-9625. If you have any questions, I tried to go every, over everything as best as I could, but always things can slip through the cracks. This is, again, a walkthrough of the brand new 2023 Dutchman Astoria. This floor plan is the 2993 RLF. Always, if you have any questions, give us a shout, uh, but thanks for tuning in.